Hey guys, it's me Mavicstar123 and welcome to my new video. This is my first FIFA video. We are keeping the Champions League mode on. I'm playing as an FC Barcelona manager. The half length has been to 4 minutes. Currency is euros and we are also keeping the journey players which is Alex Hunter who plays for Real Madrid and Danny Williams who plays for Chelsea FC. As the screen loads, I want to apologize to you guys for having bad quality. As we move on, I, will, I ensure that I will keep good quality. But for now, we have to deal with it. So I am so sorry for that. Okay, so as the title screen going on, we some we shall check some emails on. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I've loaded the preseason team where all the young players and all the uh, reserve players of Barcelona gets a chance to play, and in the team and the squad is there. Moving on, we have an offer from Sergi Roberto from Real Madrid, but you know it's a rival team, so we are just gonna decline it as we don't want to give our players to our rivals because we are not Borussia Dortmund. So moving on, let's just train some of our players. Let's train the players who got a young, who are young and got some good potential in them. Training Usman Dembele, mm. that Arthur Mello, Nelson Samedo, Malcolm, who is newly signed. Barcelona and then Dennis Suarez Suarez sorry okay Moving on, we have a match against Toronto FC, and I skip the match. As we go on, we have an offer for Ivan Rakitic from Manchester United. The offer is of 59 million euros, so we are going to negotiate in it. Let's see how far can we get. Okay, so the transfer price that I am going to set is going to be 75.6 million euros. Okay, so they accept the deal. Moving on, mm. okay. So, moving on, I think I'm going to buy some players from the transfer market because there needs to be some players and also need to be added to make it interesting and good. So, 
In the real football life, Barca wants the Lich, who is from Ajax, so I'm also trying to go and buy him in this mode. Let's see how far can we get to buy him. So apparently Delic is a very good defender and Barca would like to have him in the squad. So as we go in transfer hub, let's go and secure that player. So the transfer fee that I'm going to give to D-List is 46 million euros. Let's see if they accept it or not. Okay, so, yeah, so they are asking for a bit more wage. So I'm again going to negotiate in it. So I guess the new transfer fee is going to be 50 million euros. submit the offer let's see what they decide on it okay they still reject it and for one last time I guess I have to counter it again I don't know where it's really going but it's getting really difficult to buy him from this guy so in the end we are gonna give 52 million euros and they accept it finally is this happening so moving on to the player negotiations The role we are going to give him is important as we do want to keep the player in for a very long term. Mm. Okay, the contract length is going to be 5 years and the release clause which is a bit much which is 94 million euros. So are we going to do that? Yes we are. Probably. The wage which we are going to give to him is going to be 35k euros and the signing bonus of um, Okay, so basically the signing bonus is going to be 320k and we are going to submit the offer. Oh, they accepted it. So as you can see on the top right corner, there's a signed a top player. So we have finally managed to secure delete from Ajax. He's really a promising defender at a very young age, so we are very happy to extend the contract with him. As we put him through the ranks, and in the first squad, on the 
bench really to be honest there was there is OMTT and PK so Dilist has to wait I guess for some time until I decide to play him but definitely he's gonna get chance in the future okay so there are also reports in the real world about Frankie De Jong so we are gonna see if we can secure him too he is his fellow countryman from Netherlands and a midfielder who also plays for Ajax so if we can manage to buy him it will be a really great thing uh, for Barcelona I guess so basically his report has not been there so I have asked my scout to scout him and see what can we do about him so till then we move on so there are two matches done and we have won both of them as we are top of the leaderboard above Manchester City with six points so I don't know if you want to see the gameplay please comment down below should I do the gameplay too or should I just keep it to this thing which I'm doing So as you saw, we actually managed to sell Ivan Rakitic and after selling a good centre mid, we are going for Kevin De Bruyne because he is the best centre mid in the game I guess, central attacking mid in the game in Premier League. Uh, no, I don't rate Luka Modric that much, he's just overrated, don't hate me. So here is Pep Guardiola. We are gonna offer Kevin De Bruyne to 140 million euros. That's a very big price, but it, he deserves it to be honest. He deserves the price that we are gonna pay to him. So, yeah, man, just accept it. But no, they are not, they are greedy. They are just so much greedy, they want 154 million pounds. So that's not gonna really happen. I guess I'm gonna also negotiate in it and lower it to 148 million. Let's see, the 148 million is in the middle of it. So I guess they have to take it because it's like like I, how can I go more than that? Because I do have a budget, to be honest, in France. So yeah, finally, Pep Guardiola accepts it, and we move on to the player negotiations. If Kevin De Bruyne manages to join Barcelona, it will be a really, really great thing because we'll get a good strengthened midfield along with. Vidal and Busquets so the role we are going to provide to him is crucial mm, a five year deal would be good for him as we wish to keep the player as long as we can in the team mm. So just completing the formalities. I don't think. I just think that the cutscenes cut are just too much in this game. Like they need to stop the cutscenes to actually a smaller level, like they did in FIFA 17, where there was literally no cutscene between them. So you have to just wait for that emails to come and then just do it. But since FIFA 18, they just added more cutscenes, and it's really annoying to be honest. In the long period and the uh, release clause we are gonna set for him is 91 million I don't know why I just keep it very low I guess I should have kept it a bit more so the wage that they are asking is 210k per week which is actually too much but we are gonna accept it because it's literally worth it 
Oh, so Frankie de Jong. The scout report is available. Oh, no, never mind. So actually, we have managed to secure Kevin De Bruyne from Man City. So let's just keep him in the first squad and also add Coutinho. Why is Coutinho not in the first team? And there's Dembele. According to FIFA, I guess the Coutinho is better than Dembele, but I really think Dembele deserves a chance in first team ahead of Coutinho. Moving on with the match against Manchester City from whom we bought De Bruyne. And we check the emails as we always do. We got a message from like what he what is he? Who is he? Like why would you email me? Okay, so the game is done. We've won against Manchester City and in the process Sergi Roberto got injured. So I think there is a need of another right back. Although Samedo is there but we want someone as a backup or can use Samedo as a backup if we get a good So the scout reports have arrived. Let's check let's check the wage budget and the transfer budget before we go on with Frankie De Jong. I guess just let's get into the negotiations. If they ask more, it's going to be difficult for us as the wage budget isn't much. It's only 114k, I guess. It's 112k. Sorry, my apologies. So we are going to give the transfer fee of 38 million. 34, sorry. Transfer fee of 34 million. These cutscenes are actually very long to be honest. Mm, they reject it again. Why? The IX are so difficult to get on with it. Like, D-list happened the same thing. Like, I had to offer him three times, to be honest, to let him agree to a deal. But they just don't. Like, they are so stubborn. Like, these players do not even cost much. They are a good investment, to be honest. But they just don't cost more. They counter us now to 42.3 million. But we keep them down to 38 million. Let's see if they accept it or not. I guess they are just not gonna accept it. They are just these stubborn weirdos. Accept it, please. Oh god. Bloody hell, man. They just don't. They are again rejected it and asked for 42.3 again why don't they do it okay so one last time the final time i'm gonna keep it to 40 million if you want it please oh finally that just these morons that just don't want them like they have to agree on the third and the final time that yes we are gonna agree it unless they are gonna be just the morons and just gonna reject it i just don't get it now we go on with the player negotiation if we get him after all of that it's good if we don't then that's bullshit okay so the rule they asked for is rotation it's good it's good for me to be honest because frankie do may not get a chance even in the first team to be honest because the players the quality of players in the FC Barcelona is really good to be honest we have a lot of players so the contract length we are giving him is five years they are asking a release clause of 77 millions we are gonna agree to it we are gonna agree to it but the wage oh my god they asked the wage for 71 thousand euros that's literally too much for a young player like him because d list took like 50 i didn't i don't even know what i'm saying like d list took less than him 
still he's a better player than him but he wants a lot of wage that's not going to work i'm guessing because the 41k wage is not gonna happen and they just declined it and they rudely went away oh my god this is bullshit because he doesn't deserve that much to be honest i can't go more low than that so let's just start the simulation oh and we have a loan offer for biscuits let's see which biscuits is it it's oriole biscuits who is apparently a youngster a 19 year old young guy has offer from Atlanta and we loan him actually because let's give him the experience that we want and get some players that we need so basically I fast forward it to date against the Bayern but before we face Bayern Munich there are some things that are need to be done like we have Sergi Roberto injured so I have to look for a good right back so I try getting a random right back who is good in this game to be honest but these players are just dog shit they are just shit they don't know I don't know what the fuck is this shit um, I'm just confused right now I'm literally confused don't know what to say the quality of the content is shit look at just the quality of the screen oh my god I'm gonna try it to basically enhance the quality that's all what I can do and why is this baby crying back I don't get it like, what the fuck so we basically go for Joshua Kimmich after being so confused and the barn references him shit sorry the bind representatives meet us and we decide to give him the offer of 50 million euros like that's that's what I can do like if they accept it it's good but no they're gonna counter it they're always gonna counter it because they are just these cunty morons like it's counted to 72.2 million but we do have to counter it so we keep it to 58 million euros let's see if they agree or not oh shit they accepted it they are, at least they are not Ajax like they just keep declining it so yeah they accept it but I'm going to guess Kimmich is a very good player and almost the best right back in this game right now so I don't think this wage budget that we have is going to be enough for him let's see we're gonna offer him the role of important the contract length for five years is going to be accepted because we always want to keep our players for a very long time we don't keep on deciding that like yeah you know, we want to sell them or we not because as soon as we keep the contract for a longer time they are going to stay there and their value is also going to be there the release clause asked by him is 114 million euro are you kidding me who is gonna buy up there in 140? Maybe if he gets better, then we may. Anyone can buy him, but the price is just too high, bro. Bro, you're high, bro. Okay, so I just try my best to provide him the wage that I can. But as you can see on the top left of the screen, the wage budget is only 112k so most i can do is 110 i can't go beyond that because the wage budget wage budget is just not there it's just not there i can't do more like well, that's all i got i don't got signing bonus nothing they just don't want to join or oh, actually they want it but they want 140k that's literally too much because we don't even have the budget for that like like it's not like FIFA 17 like if you didn't have a budget they would auto adjust it from the transfer budget to it but no we don't have it so yeah like how far can we even get in this thing this 
this reject him don't think just reject it because we are not gonna do it so I keep the wage even low that is 56k and they just declined the deal so we even managed to lodge Joshua Kimmich in it so I'm just gonna end my video on that terrific note and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and for now good